The father of a little boy killed in Verdigris last week is looking to state lawmakers for help. He doesn't want what happened to his son to happen to any other family. I talked with Billy Jacobson this morning about his push for change. It's the sweetest little baby ever, nothing but goodness his whole life. Billy Jacobson says his nine-month-old son, Billy, was perfect, a precious boy whose life was cut short. He, he made life much more full, and it's going to take a long time to try and figure out how to adjust our lives to living without that. Investigators say the little boy's mom, Brandy McCaslin, killed him and her other two children, six-year-old Bryce and 11-year-old Noe. There are many ways where this could have been avoided. Jacobson says a former representative went to the state capitol Monday to talk with lawmakers on his behalf. He wants to see changes so this doesn't happen again. There's major flaws in our system across the board. Jacobson says McCaslin attempted suicide earlier this year but was still allowed access to her children. He also says when she had supervised visits with the kids, her friend was the one overseeing them. You know, what, what does that serve having somebody that is your best friend sitting there doing, you know, doing the supervision? There's nobody, no checks and balances. He wants to see a set amount of time before people with previous suicide attempts can get access to their children. He also wants to see a law that would restrict firearm access for people with mental health issues. That's the only way I can live with myself is to make change with this and make sure someone else's kids does, doesn't have this happen to them because no parent deserves this. I did reach out to DHS with his concerns. The agency said they couldn't answer specific questions, but released this statement saying, quote, our investigation into this tragedy is just beginning, but we know precious lives have been lost in this small community. We'll continue to work with law enforcement to understand the facts and circumstances of this heartbreaking situation. And we will be sure to keep you updated on the progress Jacobson makes at the state capitol.